health. Megalodons are really not high health. Um, yeah, I don't have enough prime meat to, to tame one. I wouldn't be able to, to, to get it tamed by the time he killed my Mosasaur. That's not enough meat. And I don't think I have any black pearls. Um, I only got seven black pearls. That's not enough. I don't think I don't have enough stuff to get it done. I'd have to. Maybe if I found a level 150. Uh, like a one. Not 150, but like a 135, 130 or above. Meg, uh, Megalodon? Not Megalodon. They're all Megas. Um. Mosasaur, yeah. The, the aquatic tank, they, they used to be best tank in the game, or aquatic tank in the game. Quick him. If I got a high enough health on them, then uh, put a good saddle on them. And I think I have a pretty good Mosasaur saddle. So I have an ascended uh, platform one. So that's I, if I could put that on there, um, basically makes them a mobile riding platform. Um, <laughs> then that's 153 armor, and uh, that would probably do it. That would probably get me to the point. If you no, so the problem is those guys like a player could do that, right? So like a player could pull a T Rex into the water, depending on the location. This is one of the few areas that that might be able to happen. Uh, but the text, the Rex would have to be in the water a little bit. Um, but the AI won't. So you can only find squids at the very corners all around the map, but in the deep ocean. Like, you have to get down deep. They don't like being up too high. So a Rex wouldn't, a Rex would drown way before, uh, I don't know, I think it would drown before he would have a health issue, depending on, I've seen the level of the Rex and everything. Yeah, he would just drown before. And a squid won't, as far as I know, squid won't latch onto another squid. I don't think it can. Because, like, obviously, if I had my squid get latched onto, then who cares? He'd sit there all day and not give a crap. Um, at 111,000 health? Yeah, he wouldn't give a crap. Um. But we'll see what we'll see what I can get tonight and tomorrow. Yeah, so there's whales, but they're not like whale whales. Like they're called um whales. So there's the uh what the heck is this? Yeah, that's not in this game. There's a space whale, but that's not in the island. Okay, so there's two whales technically on the island. There's the smaller one, which is called the lead synthicus, which is this guy right here. Um, <clears throat> he's not... Obviously, he's around the edges. That's what he looks like. And these guys, I don't think, can be tamed. Yeah, these, yeah. You can't tame these guys. Uh, and they're what kills your boat. Um, they've got good, good health. Uh, but what you can do is, um, if you can if you can get one on the beach and kind of wall them in, you can basically go up there and like, this is saying, and just and hit E and get raw fish meat from them. He's like a 100%
um, just, just a free fish meat guy. Uh, so that's one of them. Um, besides that, you just kill these guys. Um, cause they're, so that's the first one. The second one, you can capture these guys and they're called, um, Abasaloras, however. Um, these guys, again, are not that big. Um, and they're really, <clears throat> their health is, yeah. it's, yeah, okay. Starts off at 2,400 base. Um, you know, it's time to go 150. Let's see, even at the height, no, okay, I have to see. I'd love to be able to just, I mean, they're okay, they're just not, I mean, they're not bad. But again, to, to get one, you gotta, what does this guy take? Is he a passive tame? He looks like a passive tame. Yeah, because I'm not seeing any knockouts. So he's a passive tame. So you just go up to him with whatever. Uh, not as much as a Mosasaur. The best one to do would be a Mosasaur. Uh, these guys are like the, I mean, these guys are like the T, they're saying they're like the T-Rexes. They say they have high health. So yeah, this guy might be might be one to keep an eye on. Um <clears throat> this guy might be a good one to to put on for um for like our what we ride. Although I'd probably just ride the squid. Um uh, or two. But, <laughs> the the quickest way to do it is just to grab a Mosasa. And we have a bunch of them out here. This is where most, at least from what I've seen, uh, or uh, there's the other one that starts with a P. That could also work uh, as well. They're not they're not that bad. Ellisaurus and something like that. Uh, and just you know, sacrifice it to. And if you get and if you actually tame the. The squid, you have to tame the squid before your, um, before your, your tame dies. And squids are breedable. So, um, Arksu, um, let me just type in squid, it'll come up. Tuciosis. So if you look in here on the wiki, they are rideable, tameable, and breedable. But again, they're they like black pearls. So if I could get some black pearls in there, it would make that a lot easier. In their eggs, I didn't know that. Um. So if we went out, I, what I might do is I might go out and just grab a bunch of black pearls, you know. <clears throat> and be able to knock it out. But yeah, this is the less likely to die distraction. Turtles. Yeah. So most are a dunk Iliosaurus. Um That's what we could use one of those too. Those are out near us. There's a lot of them right there. These dunk or whatever. Um, but yeah, then at that point you're, you can breed them. Um, you can breed the squids, which you could have a whole squid army, um, floating around in the water. No, nothing going to kill them. Um, and it means if you lose one in the dungeon. So like I said, <clears throat> I'm not as worried about the swamp dungeon. Uh, wait, do we have gas masks yet? I'm all over the place. Yeah, so I got to build a couple of these, which are pretty easy to build. We're going to have to build like four or five to bring those with us. I don't know if the... Um... Uh. 
if the uh, poison is going to kill our tames, though. And if it's narrow of corridors, then the problem's gonna be um, that the regardless of what we're using, it's going to have a hard time with. So in the in the swamp cave, the problem's gonna be. If I can't keep all my my tames online, then it's going to be an issue. Uh, then again, <laughs> the that cave doesn't get as high of a level as the ice cave. The ice cave, what makes the ice cave so hard, is not only the sheer quantity of high end dinos, right? Polar bears, those dang things that are in the ground, uh, the pool, whatever's, um, you know, dire wolf packs, and yetis, and, um, the reason why that is so tough to deal with is because they're so high level, <laughs> you know, if they were just 150s, we'd watch, we'd march right through there, probably never even look back, um, it would probably be, the, the, Dungeon would be a breeze, be cakewalk. But since they're so high level, um, it's it's really a problem. Getting through it because of that. So. Um, <coughs> So, um, oh, I'm not gonna die. Sorry. Um, that's why we're gonna have to to do a lot more building in that one. And again, I think the the eastern. Um, we actually look at a map. So the eastern aquatic one, which is like right around here. That one worries me. I think that's all underwater. So if we can stay underwater, we'll be good. Some of those turns to get in there are not easy. I'm worried that the squids and the mo like we got squids and mosasaurs backing us up. I'm worried that both of them won't be able to get in. So because of how hard it is to get um, navigate those caves, like I could get in, but. I had to do some fancy swimming to get into that cave. So, I'm worried that, you know, anything that we bring with us is going to be, get stuck on something and then we're fighting alone again. Then what's the point of bringing extra firepower if it's, you know, so far behind you it's not going to do any work. So that's why I'm worried about the snow, or about the, the water cave. Because obviously we're not going to do it until we've got enough firepower. I want to have another squid, so my big teams for tomorrow are, I want to get a squid, I want to get a mosasaur, I want to get all that stuff, to be ready for the sea cave, I need to get another dire wolf, or I need to get a, a high level female so I can start breeding my dire wolves, I'm going to start breeding my saber tooths at the same time. So I have about four or five that are not part of, like, these two will stay at home. This will be the mount that I ride, since he's our big boy with the ascended one. Um, I think you guys just have primitives, right? The primitive's fine for this. But we do have a, a Mastercraft that saber to some. And I don't think it's that expensive. So, the biggest thing here is the fiber and hide. Hide's gonna be worth the kid. Got some here. 
putting Clark there. You're talking about a lot of hide. You know, 4,500 per. Uh, the fiber is nothing. And the metal is actually not that high. Like. So we need about six of these. Um, ish. So first of all, they're hard to find. Um, and so a regular squid will drop about 20. An alpha will drop about 45. So if you can find an alpha, that's not bad. 45 black pearls are 65? Is it 65 for... 575 for an alpha? We've taken down a couple squid, alpha squids. The best way to get black pearls is to find alpha mosasaurs. Alpha mosasaurs get the most black pearls in Arc Ascended. They give a hundred, regardless of the level, they're gonna give you a hundred black pearls per kill. Problem is, you gotta find an alpha mosasaur. So it's not, you know, squids are, are another decent way to get them, but hard to get them. It's hard to find them, they're a rare spawn. Um, the most reliable way to get them, per se, is killing trilobites, but trilobites only have a small percentage. Uh, well, build the base. So I'll be getting tames and building base for the, the, for the rest of the well, it depends on how, how I'm feeling after, because I, like I said, I'm going to take some medicine here, and then, uh, you know, in about five minutes or so, in uh, four minutes or so, and then try to start feeling better, because I think I'm, I'm just touching my forehead, I'm definitely running a little bit of a fever, so I'm going to try to break that. So between today and tomorrow is to gather enough resources to at least get this portion of the base done, um, and then... Uh, get everything moved over. Uh, build the the entrance way and the snow biome. Get that ready to go. Uh, breed up. Uh, find a dire wolf. Female, high level female dire wolf, so I can start breeding my dire wolves up for the snow cave. You can. Um, if you can, first of all, they're hard to find these days, but I know a few spots that spawn them a lot. Problem is, there's only a very small chance that you get uh, a black pearl. They're really not the best things to go hunting for black pearls. Black pearls are hard to find. Like, they're just, they're not easy. They're not easy to get. Um, the eastern cave might have squids in it. The uh, trilobites? Trilobites can't be tamed in this one. Trilobites can't be tamed in Arc Ascended. They, so, they can't be in Arc Ascended. Arc Ascended changed trilobites, so trilobites have no levels anymore. So you can't tame them. Yeah, there has to be a level for it to be a tameable. Um, a tameable creature. So, Trilobites have no level anymore. So they basically became a background dino. Um, yeah. So it's... <laughs> well, because, I mean, first of all, why would you... Why would you go through the hassle of trying to grab a bunch and breed them and I mean you could build your own little trilobite farm but again it's easier to do so people bypass that trilobites trilobites are fantastic for the very beginning of the game for getting like oil and a little bit of silica pearls and a chance for a black pearl but you're talking about they have the lowest drop chance for black pearls out of anything um uh, that can drop black pearls. Like, I think you need like one in 40 or something like that. One in 50 drop. I think is the, is the ratio. It's not much. 
So uh, it's easier. It would actually be easier and more worth your time to go out and just kill a squid. And that's, you know, running around the whole map to find just one. And just killing one squid will produce you more than trying to breed. Right, but they they give such a low amount of black pearls that it's not worth it. It's not worth all the, the time, the energy, the food that you have to put into it. Um, the waiting for them to keep respawning and stuff like that. It's not worth it's not worth the time or the effort to, to breed them. Which is why Art, rightly so, moved them to just a who cares dino on the island. It would, it would be, it would, it still wouldn't, you don't think you can make it AFK. I don't think you can make them AFK. Mark doesn't really have AFK type farms like that, unless the, because you have to, when they breed, you have to basically, you can do one of two things, you can... You can imprint on them, or you can uh, release them. Yeah, no. So it's <laughs> yeah, trilobites are not the not the best thing to uh, go pro hunting. Actually, technically, the best thing to do is get a bunch of squids, lock them in a in a cage, basically, and <laughs> breed a bunch of squids, then release them. Right, they become wild and you can kill them. So the best thing to do is breed up a bunch of squids and then kill them. And have one of your guys in there to kill them. So as you release them, your guy kills them real quick. And then so on and so forth. So that would be the best way to kind of, if you want to kind of cheese it. Um, the problem there is you have to still, um, you have to get a containment area, which is not easy underground, in the water, in the... <coughs> um, you kind of isolate them uh, for that to work. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's not, not the easiest. Either way, it's not easy. Um, and again, there's, in order for that to be practical, Right? You need to have a bunch of squid, which means you have to have, I would say, if you're going to do it where you're going to like try to cheese it and get mass amounts, I would say about 10 female squids, maybe 20, producing babies every 40 minutes. Every 40 minutes to an hour and a half, um, you're producing 10 or 20 new squids. Then you have to let, wait for them to let, to get of age and yeah it's there's just no way there's no easy there's no easy way to get black pearls that's just unfortunate and there's no like metals easy to, to kind of cheese because there's a lot of places for it you know the angliosaur can be picked up by the, the argentavis so that's pretty easy Silica pearls actually are a lot easier once I can get to that point. Uh, so that's another thing I want to get is an angler fish and put them outside the um, the snow cave um, because there's a bunch of things there's a bunch down there that I mean you just can't see them. Um, so trying to do it blindly would be terrible. But if you had an angler fish kind of roaming around that thing with you on it, you could get a lot. You know, but it's random because you got to actually hit a pearl. But they get more silica pearls. The problem is there's no dinosaur that gets more black pearls, right? So like saber tooths and dire wolves get more uh, chitin or cementing paste. Um, brontos get more berries. Um, beavers get more wood. Doughy dickers get more stone. There's almost for everything else in the game there is a. 
there's a dinosaur that can do it really, really well. Uh, like this guy does organic polymer. Really, really well. uh, in as efficient. Uh, there's just no, there's no dino that does. That does um, black pearls well. That could get more out of each kill, so you could actually get. And I, we need. Uh, I don't know if past uh, the deadline. Okay. I'd like to build uh, a tech. tech I can here in the next. But you need 55 black pearls for that one, 20 element, 55, 20 element. So, uh, I could go get some black pearls. Problem is finding them. Like, I ran around the whole world and didn't find a single one. So, I mean, sure, they're, it's a great idea if you can find them. They're all around the edges on the bottom of the seabed. I know where they're at. You go all the way around the they're on the they're basically the same thing as the squids. They're all the way around the map is where they can spawn, and then they're on the the seabed. And the problem is it's hard to the the water is not as clear as it used to be. So it's it's hard even with the scoot mass it's hard to see a little little brown or black or creature at the bottom of floor bed that's smaller than the grass around them. So it's most people just turn their settings down when they go. And I mean they basically turn their settings off when they go to hunt those guys. I just don't feel like going back and forth hunting. And those guys aren't bad, but again, they only drop one or two. So you know is it is is it worth sitting there trying to find those guys or just keep moving on until you find a squid, which is going to get you 30 or 40, you know? Yeah, and those guys, like I said, only give you like one or two, maybe five or something like that. They're, there's not much. So, you know, it's, it's almost not worth your time to stop and look for them because they're hard to find and they don't give you that much. So... Uh, but luckily we don't I mean we're gonna need a lot of black pearls coming up but I could find 110 pretty pretty easily for the two armor pieces the hard part is getting the element we don't have the element we need 40 element and I think we have like 16 the only way you get element is from in Arc Ascended is from, uh, from the bosses. We have 16. So we need four more, we'd have to kill another boss in order to get. But besides tech gear and stuff like that, that's all we uh, <laughs> in hunting squids. Uh, which I wouldn't use them for hunting squids. They're so rare that I would not use black pearls for hunting squids. Unless you just have a crap ton of them. Um, and don't plan on ever building tech gear or tech foundations or tech anything. Then yeah, go ahead. Um, but you can use cooked prime meat for, uh, I mean, it's not as good. I mean, it's really not as good. But, uh, you can use, um, cooked prime meat. Why would I want to take the spino off for a swim? We're, I, I'm about to head off, so spino is going to stay right where he's at. But anywhere that the spino can go, I'd use, I would use the, the squid anyway. Squid has AOE attack. It's much bigger attack frame. 
than the Spino. I wouldn't use the Spino. But, like I said, for, for getting... Yeah, obviously I got a squid without black pearls. I don't need black pearls to get squid. I'm just gonna go and... There's plenty of mammoths around here in the Arctic that will give me prime meat. And, you know, not only <laughs> mammoths, T-Rexes, um, Carnos. There's all kinds of things that, give, that I can... All I'll just do is I'll just go on a run for prime meat. Argentavises give you prime meat. Um, taking medication and going to sleep. Why well, I'm I'm leaving early today? Cause I feel like crap. So. <coughs> I'm gonna see what uh, I felt after that. I'll try to get on later this afternoon. I'll try to get up my nap. Try to, hopefully this fever will break and I'll be alright. But, again with that, everyone, I uh, appreciate everybody that was here. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to keep working. Sick or not sick tomorrow. Or even tonight. As long as I can get up to my computer, I'll keep going on getting this built and uh, kind of moving everything over. Uh, that way, come Monday... Yeah, me too. Me too. I don't like running a fever. It makes actually the worst part about getting sick is it makes my leg, my stump, weak, which makes walking interesting. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll keep going uh, with this as long as I can. Set my focus and everything. Um, tomorrow and tonight, and uh, I'll keep building this thing out get everything set up and then hopefully Monday we should be in good shape to tackle the snow dungeon tackle the uh, alright buddy I appreciate it everyone until then have a fantastic rest of your weekend everybody and uh, we'll see you Monday morning 8am central for some more until then